Welcome to the Real Effects Digital Workshop. My name is Jami and in this tutorial we're going to be using the paint effects for Oceans in Maya. So Maya has some presets already on the visor and if you go to the ocean examples you have a variety of choices that you can import into Maya and tweak the presets. Let's try one of these. Let's right click the giant storm and import into our scene. I'm going to set my views to two panes in the layout. I'm going to put on shaded and if we go here to the camera of the scene and we just click render, we can see the rendering of the storm with just the default settings, which is pretty good to be straight out of the box. And you can always go in and tweak the shader. But in this case, I want to try this other paint effects. So let's go to the visor and let's do the white caps. So now let's go to the camera of the scene and let's just do a quick render. As you see, the presets of the paint effects is already in good shape and you just need to go and tweak a little more of the values. So what we're going to do, we're going to select the ocean plane we're going to go to the ocean shader and we're going to change some attributes. The first thing that I want to change is to increase the variety of waves. So I'll decrease the wavelength minimum to 0.1 and let's render it. As you see, I have increased the resolution of the waves by adding more variety in the wavelengths. I also can increase the maximum, but in this case I'll decrease the minimum to add a little more variety. As you can see, now we have uh, more resolution and, and the ocean is sharper. So in addition, we can also change the frequencies on the shader. So let's see what happens if we put the frequencies to 20. Let's save this image for comparison. And what the frequencies does, it has increased the amount of detail that in a way has sharpened and distorted the ocean we see the ones previously so maybe we can use a number on between and all these attributes vary according to the scene and where the camera is positioned it so it is just a trial and error method that you go over with the ocean shader and this is looking better it's sharper but not as, as it was previously so we can go also and adjust all these different attributes. You have the height, the turbulence, the peaking of the waves, and you can adjust it on the graph with different values. If you don't want any foam, you can turn off the foam emission. And if you render it, you will only have the water. And these are the highlights from the light. You can increase the foam and you have a very foamy ocean. Maybe this is too excessive, but you can always adjust it. I'm just going to leave it to the default values. Now you can also change the, the color of the ocean. So let's make it a little more dark blue and see the difference. As you see, it has a more of a blue tint than before and you can adjust the color. We can also go to the specular shading and here we can change the specularity, the reflectivity as well of the water and also we can adjust the environment color. So let's do something extreme maybe. Let's see if we had an ocean on Mars, how it will look. Let's put this to orange and this maybe to some jello. Let's delete this ones. Actually, name this, put the black back. As you see, the environment color has a big effect on the ocean. This is useful when you need to match the ocean with other assets or other environments. Let's undo all the changes.
And also what is pretty cool about this paint effects is that it comes with a fog that is this fluid element. Let's hide it and see how it looks without the fluid. So this is just the water. It is good to render both the scene with and without the fog. And use them in your composite in, as, in case we need to make some changes in the ocean. Now I'm going to move the camera around and find a nice spot to place our model in the scene. Alright, I like where the camera is positioned, so I'm going to go ahead and import our model. This is a bridge that I got from the Google warehouse, just to do a quick test. So now let's go into our perspective. As you see, we need to scale down this model. And since I already picked the camera angle, I'm just going to adjust the model to the camera. We can also turn on the film gate to see the border of our rendering. And also I can scale the ocean to cover the bridge. So now let's re-render it. We might need to adjust the light source. Let's just click the directional light. And you press 7 to enter the light mode of Maya. So let's re-render. Also, let's turn back the fog on. It keeps a better atmosphere than just the ocean itself. As you can see, we can use this as a base layer in Photoshop and start arranging our elements. Now let's render it with Mental Ray and see the difference between Maya and Mental Ray. And Mental Ray has blur a little bit better at the edges of our waves We can adjust some of the settings for Mental Ray. Let's do Final Coloring. This will give us better shadows in our model. And as well, I want to decrease maybe the maximum length of the waves since it's becoming to stretch. So let's go to the Ocean Shader. And let's reduce this to maybe 30 units and also for a faster render I'm gonna use Maja software and we can just keep adjusting and yeah this is a little bit better we can always move the camera actually let me turn on the resolution gate now let's include the bridge scale a little bit more all right so let's try mental ray you can always adjust the settings increase the quality of the rendering but we're just gonna be using this to get our base layer so now you know how to use the paint effects for Oceans in Maya to generate quick renderings that you can use for your compositing in Photoshop. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the RealFX Detail Workshop.